the Prince of Wales Apartments on beautiful Capitol Hill. I lived there for five years. It was such an amazing, enriching, and fun time. I can't even put it into words. But during this time, um, Seattle had a bed bug epidemic descend on it. The apartment manager, Don, was seeing bed bugs everywhere. I remember standing out in front of the building with him and he was pointing at the grass and he's like, is that one right there? And I was like, you can't see him with your naked eye from this high up. My apartment was a studio and it was barely big enough for one person. Then my next door neighbors had the same exact size apartment, but there was three of them in there and they were hoarders. Then the dreaded email which I knew was coming. The apartment building has bed bugs. And to make the situation much more fun, the hoarders next door, that was ground zero for the bed bugs. Any tenant sharing a wall with the infested apartment must have their apartment sprayed too. So the spray is scheduled and I'm instructed to take everything in my apartment all belongings and stack it into the middle of the living room so that all the walls are exposed. I spend all of that day putting everything in the middle of the living room. It takes a long time, people. It's crazy. And then I head off to the art studio in Greenwood that I, that I had with some friends, and I spend a very awkward night there. Later, I get home and I remember thinking like, this place doesn't seem like it's been sprayed. There's still dust in places, like it would move that, right? But maybe that's just in my imagination. I put everything back in its little places, all my little possessions and stuff, and uh, we just sail off into the sunset, into our beautiful life. Bed bug episode is done, right? Well, hold up for a minute. I get a second email. We scheduled the second spring for next week. I had sent a reply email because I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, do we got to stack everything in the middle of the apartment again? I receive an almost instant response with just one word. Yes. I can't remember where I went after I stacked everything. It's all a blur. The adventure was over. Um, now I'm just annoyed about having to do this shit. So the fucking second spray is complete. And I'm sailing off into the sunset like I was trying to do previously, right? Going on to our beautiful lives, blah, blah, blah. So all is well, not a bed bug in sight. And then a couple weeks later, I locked myself out of my apartment by accident. That's the first and only time I did that in that apartment. Luckily, I was inside the building because there's a key to get in the building, then there's a key to get in my apartment. I didn't have either key on me. And I run into my manager in the hallway. I'm like, hey man, I locked myself out. Um, can you get me into my apartment? So he comes over to the door and he has all of his keys. And he's checking his bump, bump, bump. This key doesn't work. That key doesn't work. None of them work. None of the keys work on my door. So this is my apartment from the outside and the window, this one window I would keep unlocked, but it's still about six feet off the ground. So we got a ladder and I climbed into my own apartment. The entire time I was doing it, the thought that kept crossing my mind was, if you don't have a fucking key to my apartment, how the fuck did you spray for bed bugs? How did you get in here? You didn't. Weird ass human behavior. Why would you tell me that you're spraying twice when you couldn't get into my apartment? That is weird as fuck. Why? It's one of the great mysteries of my life. The only scenarios that I could think of is either he was fucking with me on the whole thing or they sprayed my apartment and it was in a different dimension because none of it makes sense. So there's a fun one that I can tell the grandkids that I'll never have. 
Um, yeah, good times. The life of a squirrel.